is a very pretty tweed stitch and I showed it to you on one of the live broadcasts on Wednesdays and so now I'm doing the video. This is done with an odd number of stitches. So it means 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 plus 1. So or 1, 3, 5, 7, so odd number of stitches. And I'm using the needles that the yarn calls for. And you, this is the way, if you see for example, other ways of combining colors, this is another way that's like a brown, like an off-white and a black. And once I made a purse for a friend and it was black, silver and gold. It was really pretty. So this is the way this stitch is done. So on the first part I use only two colors here and rows number one and number two are done with one color. In this case it's the dark blue and on rows number three and four you do with the other color which is the light blue. And here I introduced a, a white and you do two rows of each color. So this is what we're going to be doing. So I am alternating the colors and so I go to the last one. That it, this is the next one. So I pick it up in front of the other two. And row number one is only knit. So that's what we're going to be doing. I have 25 stitches here so that I can you can see better how this stitch looks. So you're going to knit this row and then knit the next row back. And I will see you when these two rows are made. And let's finish this one. Let's see. And then row number two will be also knit. So you only uh, change yarns on the same side. So I will see you when I finish this row. Okay, I finished row number two. This is the way it looks on the wrong side. Nothing much to see, but it's not bad. Okay, row number three. We pick up the next color in line, which is the white. So let's pick up and put it on top of the other two. And the next row you are going to knit one and then slide the next one as if to purl and knit one. Slide one and knit one. Slide one, knit, slide one, knit, slide one, knit, and I do this the whole row. This is very nice if you use Christmas colors and you do like a runner, a table runner, or you can even make a vest with these colors. It turns out a little bit thick. So if you want to make a vest, you might consider using larger needles. Okay, that was row number three. And row number four, you are going to knit one. And then with the yarn in front, you slide the next stitch. Yarn to the back, knit. Yarn to the front and slide purlwise. Yarn to the back and knit. Yarn to the front and slide purlwise. Knit and slide. Knit and slide. Knit, bring your yarn to the front and slide. Yarn to the back and knit. Yarn to the front and slide. And these are the only four rows. The thing is that it looks di different because you're alternating your colors and so it gives it a very cute texture. Now there's like six 
ways of alternating these yarns. So uh, you can play with the look that you want. So that's it. See how it looks? And the next one is going to be the dark color, the dark blue. And I will knit and knit back. So just those four two uh, rows, but the colors, if you are using three colors, you're going to knit two rows of each color. So this is it. Look how pretty that is. Thank you for watching. Share us with your friends and like our page. Subscribe. This is very nice. I'll see you next time.